Hi doctors, I am currently using a $250 face cream and I'd really like to try something new. I was wondering, does it really cost a fortune to keep my face moisturized or will drugstore brands work just as well? Thanks doctors. Such a good question. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put it to the test, right? I believe we are. Such but a lot of money. <laughs> $250 yeah. for... We all get suckered into it. I just bought something about that expensive this weekend. You want beautiful and skin. Carrie was nice enough to help us out with, with a little moisturizing test that we're going to do. Before the show, we actually applied three different types of moisturizers. The high-end, $250, A. B is from the drugstore, about $10 for a generic kind of moisturizer. And finally, a do-it-yourself do it at-home variety moisturizer, good old avocados, for, a, for mm -hmm. a couple yeah. bucks. <laughs> yes. So we placed it on there. We actually did a reading before we placed this on. And this is going to measure the, measure the moisture content. And her initial value was 36 at all three locations. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to place this on the skin. And this actually measures moisture. And it's going to measure the moisture. And that is 42. So 36 to 42. Mm -hmm. Way to go, We're going to clear it. That's, that's more. Keep it up. Right. And that was the $250 one. That was the 250 <laughs> There we go. And this is 40. 7.9. That's the $10 mm. one. Okay. Come on, avocados. And here's the avocado. 42.2. Oh, wow. So the $10 so the moisturizer, moisturizer works better? Exa well, the moisture content was highest okay. with the least expensive short of the avocado. When you're dealing with an expensive cream, typically you're dealing with something that is thicker. So something thicker on the skin is going to make the skin feel softer. It can last longer, and so that duration determines how long you stay moisturized. So if we measure it a few hours from now, the, the results would probably be probably in favor change, of the expensive one? They will probably change, and they could favor the expensive one. So, so do you have a recommendation? I tell my patients to find something that they like the consistency of. I personally Which have oily good. skin, and so I do not use anything but a moisturizing sunscreen. That is my moisturizer, and I put it on the morning even though I have it on right now and I'm inside. So that's what I recommend. If you have really, really dry skin, you may want to use a moisturizer under that sunscreen. Thanks for helping us out, Carrie.